Welcome everybody. Good Monday morning to you. Welcome to Matt's Monday Morning Movie Madness or Matt's Monday Movie Madness. If you're watching this in the morning, welcome to the morning. If you're not, that's all right. If you're not watching this on Monday, that's okay too. But welcome to Matt's Monday Movie Madness. This vlog is, I'm so thankful for because it's easy. I can just go out to my Matt Cave, spend some time out here talking about a favorite movie of mine. Still a bit under the weather, as you can tell from my voice. But I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get this done for you guys because I love doing it. So, slowly getting better. So thanks guys for uh, understanding. But let's get right to it though. I'm super excited because I'm about to share with you one of my, and I know I say this almost every week, like this is my favorite movie. I love all these movies that I'm giving you guys, that I'm showing you guys this. But this movie influenced me so much growing up in, in, in I think, good ways. I think in a good way. But I absolutely love this movie as a kid. I must have been seven or eight. Let's see, it came out in 1985, I believe. Uh, so I was like, seven, eight years old when it came out, and I didn't see it in the theater. Um, I saw it, basically, they played it on HBO. We recorded it on VHS like you used to do back in the day. You had a movie that you saw and you were like, oh, I love this movie. What time is it coming on? You could program your VCR to record it. And so that's what we did. And I wore out this tape, you guys. I literally wore out the tape. I watched it so much. It was just always on in the background. Me and my friends were always watching it. We were always pretending to be the characters in this movie. Um, I, I went out for karate because of this this movie as well as Karate Kid, uh, but primarily more so this movie. Um, I wanted to be a ninja when I grew up because of this movie. Um, I got a, a, some black pajamas and I used to walk around the house pretending I was a karate master because of this movie. The, just the beginning of it. Uh, the beginning of it, I remember the white horse from TriStar Pictures, which doesn't exist anymore, but I remember the, the white horse from TriStar Pictures that would come, it's like, Do -do 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 and then, and then you, you'd hear the bell, the boom. And then there was there was Bruce Leroy there, and he was flexing, and he was getting ready, and he was doing cool stuff. He was doing karate moves. And uh, those of you know, I haven't even said what the movie is. I'm sorry. The movie is none other than this. Boom, 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 boom. The Last Dragon. This movie. Let me get a shot here for you. The Last Dragon. I had to buy this one on Blu-ray. What's cool about this movie? is that you can watch it on Netflix now. It's on Netflix, so if you haven't seen this movie in a while, you gotta see The Last Dragon. It's a cult, it's a cult classic now at this point, so it's, it's, it's not as far out there. I like to try to, to bring up movies that maybe people have forgotten about um, in this, but people honestly haven't really forgotten about this movie. People still love this movie. It's got a big following still. There are people out there still trying to get The Last Dragon 2 made, and actually there's a, there's somebody on, uh, you can probably find them on Instagram and YouTube, and they're trying to put together a, um, an animated series of what happens uh, after the end of this movie, The Last Dragon. And I think they got the funding to do it, so look for that. I think it's going to be on YouTube, um, maybe somewhere else, but um, so, oh, I'm so excited for that. Bruce Leroy, there he is. Bruce Leroy. <laughs> you can see Show Enough behind him. This is Show Enough. This is Bruce Real Bruce Leroy. This is uh, Laura Charles. Uh, this is a crazy Ar arcadey guy. Uh, I forget his name in the movie. Um, kind of the villain, one of the villains. Kind of the the, the man. 
kind of a character. So this movie, uh, it's so great. It, it just stars Bruce Leroy, and he's a he's a he's a martial artist. Uh, he's 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 he has a master that has taken him to the final step, and there's one more step to become the master uh, to, to to get something known as the glow. <laughs> it's so great, and. Uh, uh, what else can I say about this movie? Uh, the, the, the lead character, played by Bruce Leroy, played by a guy named uh, uh, Ty, Ty, Tamek. I believe he, I believe you say his name Tamek or Tamok. Um, he actually is a, a karate champion, and let me read to you. Actually, he actually is. This was his first movie that he did, and he actually is a complete karate champion. He has received black belts in uh, Goju Ryu Karate, Jeet Kune Do, Wing Chun, Hapkido, Jiu Jitsu, Taekwondo, and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And he also studied Chinese uh, Goju under the Black Dragon, Ron Van Cleef. I don't know who that is, but it sounds pretty serious. Anyway, this guy is, is a champion martial artist. He's a black belt in all those things. And uh, he was 19 when he made this movie. It was his first movie. He had never acted before, um, but he did a great job at it. He, he plays Bruce Leroy really well, um, and and he's the real deal. And he still is. He's still practicing. He's still in great shape, and he still has a presence out there. And he's doing his thing. So it's it's pretty cool. Um, and what also makes this movie amazing, of course, is the villain, uh, Show Nuff who is also trying to be the master. And Bruce Leroy is the only one that stands between him and total supremacy of being the master uh, of, 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 of Harlem, I believe, is where they're at, um, in New York City. And, and, uh, and so he wants to fight Bruce Leroy, but Bruce Leroy doesn't want to fight him because uh, he uses his martial arts just for good. Um, you know, for self-defense, he doesn't, he's not all about doing that. And this, this shown up guy just wants to fight him to prove to him that he's the master. And Bruce Leroy's like, I don't need to do that because I know, I know who I am. But show enough is just like completely obnoxious. He wears shoulder pads. Um, he's got this crazy gang of like punk rock kind of men and women. It's a very diverse group that show enough. Show enough's posse is very diverse. Um, so I, I appreciated that. Um, and uh, he's just hilarious. It's just one of the all-time great 80s villains that, that I think ever there ever was, honestly. This guy, Shona. Julius Carey played him. Um, I don't know a whole lot about him as an actor. I think this was kind of the role that he was known for. Um, he's, he passed away, actually, um, fairly recently, I think. He, yeah, he passed away in 2008. So. He was in, uh, you know, a handful of other movies and stuff, but but was primarily known for this movie, uh, The Last Dragon, and um, yeah, I thought he did a great job with it. It's so good. The other th cool thing about this movie is is the love interest, uh, Laura Charles, which is played by Vanity, um, which was Prince, you know, Prince, and she was kind of Prince's. Um, artist. I think Prince was working with her, trying to trying to build her up, writing songs for her, producing her records, and all that kind of stuff. Um, I know he was involved with her in some way, um, so she kind of has a connection to Prince, which is cool. Uh, the, the The movie was actually produced. This is really cool, you guys. The movie was produced by none other than Barry Gordy, who was the um, Motown. Barry Gordy did Motown. He was the starter of Motown Records and all of that amazing empire that he built. Motown Records, Barry Gordy produced this movie. And, and I believe a lot of the music that's connected, uh, used in this movie is connected to Barry Gordy and all the artists that he knew and everything he was doing at that point in time in the 80s. Um, and actually, um, in my, my Detroit vlogs, we actually went to Motown. You weren't allowed to film a lot in there. But in Motown Records, um, the original Motown Records, uh, in one of their studio areas, they have a movie poster to The Last Dragon, like an original movie poster to The Last Dragon um, in Motown Records. Um, so Barry Gordy, that's kind of a cool connection there too. Uh, if you love Motown, this movie has a lot to do with Motown. It probably wouldn't exist without Motown, so that's kind of cool too. It's got a great soundtrack too. Well, I think so. It's kind of a cheesy 80s soundtrack. Um, 
but I've downloaded a few of the songs on it. The Glow, um, just such a good song. And uh, yeah, there's just some good, there's some really good kind of inspirational songs in this. But uh, overall though, just really solid, good storytelling about a character who, who we all get behind and we love, who reluctantly gets pulled into this fight. He has to save the girl, he has to save his brother, his, his entire, he actually is a teacher at a, at a karate studio, and his entire gang of, of uh, at the end of the movie, his entire gang of uh, karate students, his his Padawan learners, uh, go up against this this gang um, that that uh, Eddie Arcadian put together um, to fight Bruce Leroy, and uh, it's great. It's great. The, the the climax of this movie leads up to that whole battle, and then at the end of that, it's like this boss fight between Bruce Leroy and Show Nuff. And uh, show enough gets the glow, and his glow, of course, is red. And then Bruce, you were like, right at the end, you think Bruce Leroy is gonna like eat it at the end. He's getting drowned. He kind of goes through. He has this baptismal moment, and then he comes out of the waters, and he's oh, it's so good. And, and show enough is just like, who's the master? And he's just like dunking him down. Who's the master? Who's the master? And then, and then he pulls him up the last time, and and Bruce Leroy is just like, I am, and he catches his his fist, and it's just like, oh, it's on. I remember watching that so many times and seeing that, and just getting so pumped, and just being like, ah. Uh, so this movie, I just get excited thinking about this movie. This movie brought me so much joy as a child. So. I had to share that with you guys. If you haven't seen The Last Dragon, if you have not watched this movie in a while, please go and watch it. The lead character, uh, Tamek, it, it's so it's so pure. His character is so pure and just good. It's just a he's just an amazing. The I don't know. He's just one of those great '80s characters, and he his character, the way he handled life, and the way he. He he did he did things um, inspired me to also be a better person, and uh, I still haven't obtained the glow, but I'm working towards that. It'd be really cool if I could figure out how to obtain the glow. This movie still inspires me every time I watch it, every time I listen to the soundtrack. So thanks Barry Gordy for that too, Motown Records, and um, so watch this movie if you haven't watched it in a while. So that is our movie for today, folks. The Last Dragon. Leave some comments below about this movie if you've ever seen it, if you've ever watched it. Um, well, I'll read it anyway. It's not your typical back of a, of a thing here. It says, Celebrate 30 years of Barry Gordy's The Last Dragon. Now fully remastered in high definition on Blu-ray, martial arts student Leroy Green is on a quest to obtain the elusive, all-powerful force known as The Glow. Along the way, he must battle the evil self-proclaimed Shogun of Harlem, a kung fu warrior also known as Shonuf, and rescue a beautiful singer from an obsessed record promoter. Combining pulsating music, cutting edge dancing, and the best in non-stop action, Barry Gordy's The Last Dragon is kicking good fun, featuring an amazing Motown soundtrack including music by Stevie Wonder, The Temptations, Vanity, and DeBarge, performing their smash hit, Rhythm of the Night. <laughs> oh, I can't tell you how much I love this movie, you guys. It's like absolutely one of my favorites. I love it so much. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching this episode. Leave some comments below. And uh, until next time, we'll see you later. Hey, bye.